Hey guys, this is Norman Over with Soundtracks here, and today we're going to talk about the partial resets on Soundtracks Decoders, so let's get started. On our Ekonami, Tsunami 2, and Blue Nami Decoders, we have a feature called the Partial Reset. Now, this is something that we've had since the launch of Ekonami and Tsunami 2, and what it allows you to do is it allows you to only reset some CVs in the decoder. So if you're going through and configuring your decoder, if you have some CV settings you like and you want to keep, but you've done some CV settings that you wish to reset to factory defaults, you can actually do a partial reset and keep some of those settings and reset the others. So if you look at this chart right here, you can see that we are able to reset see, uh, several blocks of CVs independently. So if, for instance, you need to reset something in the two dot index, but you want to keep everything else the same, you can set CV8 to a value of 12 and follow the standard reset procedure, which we've detailed in this video, in order to reset just the two dot index. So, in front of me here, I actually have an example. I have taken this SD80 Mac and I've actually mapped its horn onto function 5. But let's say I don't know how to re-function map that back to function 2. What I can do is instead of needing to do a full CV8 to 8 reset and clear out everything, let's say I have some other settings I want to keep, I can instead, using the knowledge that all of my function mapping CVs are exclusively in the one dot index. I can just reset the decoder, the one dot CVs on the decoder by setting CV8 to 11. Now, if I follow that standard reset procedure and cut power to the locomotive for a second, we will see that all the lights will flash 16 times And now if I press F2, the horn is back where it should be. So guys, that's just a quick example of how partial resets can help you with troubleshooting or solving any issues you may have with your decoder. Now, it can also be useful because of that 16 flashes reset confirmation it does. If, you re if you're having an issue with your lights, you can actually reset a group of CVs that you haven't made any adjustments to, for instance the three dot index is actually quite good for this, and the decoder will still flash all of those lights 16 times, which can be really useful if you need to test if your lights are working properly. So guys, that's going to be all for this video. If you have any further questions, check out the full section on resetting CVs in the user's guide. Also check out the, uh, the information contained in the rest of the user's guide, as it can be very, very helpful if you ever need to troubleshoot anything in our decoders. So that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching.